right so today we are going to be doing something a little bit niche it is gsap but it's super niche and it's not going to be applicable on every website but we have it in the library so if you ever need it it's there for you to use what i'm talking about is a sound player or music player or a player <laughs> call it whatever you want to call it it is a button which if you click on basically basically plays music but kind of like mimics the wavelength of sound and it looks statically pleasing so let's get into it all right so let's talk about where we want to have this uh, player button be positioned on the page so in my case i want to say that the client has requested for this to be at the top of the page and preferably on the now part so I have added it on the nav bar, but you can add it anywhere you want to the heart's desire. So as you can see, we have a container on the nav bar that is holding our HTML widget. And this HTML widget has these um, settings, basically design elements and not design elements really. It's just settings in the sense that the width is custom to 83%. But this is a um, detail for this specific case. It depends very much on what you are going for and your navbar design and where you're going to place this widget. So I'm not gonna go too much into the HTML widget setup. Let's go to the code. So at the top of the page, we have our script, GSAP script. And without this, obviously this will not work. So you have to add it. And the next two lines are, are our HTML elements, which of course cannot not exist. Otherwise, again, this would not work. So here in the audio um, HTML tag, we have our source and the source is going to be the link to your audio file. In my case, my audio file is sitting in the media library of uh, WordPress and let's go a little bit back to WordPress. Let's see what is going on. Where do we have this? So where is my media library? Let's go to the library. And as you can see, these are the sounds that I have. Let's just go to one. And if you want to get the URL link, basically you simply copy URL to clipboard and that's what it is and you go the, back to your audio html tag and paste it in the source right here and uh, we are giving this an id of audio can be anything you want just make sure that you change it in the code wherever you see it as audio change it to your id all right so the next element that we have to have here is canvas so Elementor does not have this as a native HTML tag element, um, unfortunately. So we need to add it to make sure that this is this works with uh, GSA. All right. So the script itself uh, is complicated. I don't understand everything, but what I will tell you is that you need to definitely need to replace this part here with your your um id uh, name that you have given or just give this id name and that's it and also this do not change it because this is the html tag that we have here on line five all right so let's go have a preview and then i'm going to go over the code and change a few things to see what you can actually change so as you can see this is my code and it's pretty cool right let's go back to our header so i have it uh in the color of white and i could also say let's say pink let's say see what happens and as you can see it's pink so in other words you can customize it as you want and as your design requires and let's change the stroke width basically how thick the line of this player is as you can see uh it's quite thin still interesting but it's quite thin so 
keep that in mind so let's see what else we can do so in uh so as you can see here on line 15 uh we have this value called points where you can obviously change it so let's see what happens and honestly i would not change that but it gets a little bit too curly for my own taste so i will leave it at 80 as uh, previously um set so let's see what happens to this one let's say another two hundred added to it and let's reload nothing really happens actually i will just leave it as is i think it's pretty cool honestly i kind of like it let me just change a little bit this and this was false initially and let me update and let's see what else and also if you want to make it a little bit shorter let's say not that long let's just change it to let's say five here and let's see what happens and as you can see it is a little bit So have a play with a few values around here and see what works for you. Let me just change this back to white. Let's update and let's have a quick look. But of course, you need to also uh, change other values if you're going to change the um, width. So keep that in mind make it nice make it look good so that's it for today a short one but i think it's pretty cool if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye